Good evening. I'm here. Um, this is Zelda. It's going to be a shorter Zelda stream. Um, I kind of got a late start due to a bunch of weird computer issues here. Uh, but hopefully everything's stable. Hopefully everything will hold up. And uh, yeah, we're going to just dive right into saving Lurlin Village today. Because I've been putting that off way too long. So let's, uh, let's, let's up the volume here. A little too loud. I'm gonna lower that just a tad. There we go. Microphone volume's good. Okay, we're good. We're good. So Lurland Village, taken over by pirates. We're gonna go. We're gonna go save it right now. There's a well right there with some smoke coming out of it. Fisherman shield. I often care about fishermen for its fish design, which represents hope for a great catch. It's like when construction makes it convenient to take onto a boat. Oh, there are monsters down here too, really? I guess if you didn't think to come down here, you wouldn't find the monster, and you'd be looking for that last one. Fishing harpoon. Fisherman's tool that excels at catching large fish. It's particularly sharp spearhead. Makes it a valuable weapon as well. Baked palm fruit. Okay. Lurland Village well. a little quicker. Oh shit. Piece of shit. my goods from these boxes, damn it. There we go. Also, I'm wearing the Fierce DED clothes because it gives me double, or no, it gives me the attack buff. Alright, uh, what's a good food to eat right now? Alright, yeah, let's just eat a full, full heal and get more later. You know what, we need better music for this. We need we need something a little more a little with a little more punch to it. I pick a good one here, don't worry. Need an extended version of it, damn it. Come on, Square Enix, what are you doing? Damn it. Every Why is everything getting ruined tonight? This is so silly.
Didn't really want that. Nope. Fuck it. Fuck it. No, no special music. Just, just go for it. Wasted enough time tonight as it is. That song from Twilight Princess. Yeah. No, that's not the song I was thinking of. Though that song is good. The Hidden Village theme. I know, I know exactly which song you're talking about. Why not? I, w I was going to use the Save Them from Final Fantasy VI, but this one probably works better. Silver? Fuck off. I got a Zonite sword and shield. Fits thematically. Silver. Silver Lizalfos horn. Sickle shaped like a horn that can slice anything it touches.
Alright, so we cleared out everything except the pirate ship. Razor Claw Clab. Clab? Crab. I'm not mistaken, there's a chest in Laureland Village in Breath of the Wild that you can't actually get. It's like under the water, like under the floor of the water. Must he play more? No, thank you. Lab crab. Fused by attack power. Diamonds work. Diamond is ammo, this really is Zelda 1. <laughs> yeah. can't hear the monsters anymore. What? The monsters are gone? R Roselle, everyone! It's safe to come back now! It can't be. Those horrible monsters. They're gone. All very last one of them. I saw everything from the house where I was hiding. This lone warrior type showed up out of nowhere and took out every monster in the village all by himself. Oh, I knew it. Sure, you look like a strong breeze could blow you over, but you are solid as stone. I knew it the moment I saw you. Thank you. We could do nothing but watch while the monsters overran our village. If you hadn't shown up, our home might have been damaged beyond repair. We owe you a great debt. Thank you. Thank you. The good news is not all the houses have been destroyed. If we all work together, I'm sure we can rebuild. Don't you worry. I'll fix up all the houses the monsters destroyed. And suggest a song from Seasons Age. It's next time. The kid's act of chivalry has lit a fire under me. I'm ready to get to work, baby. Oh. Olson, you're only a visitor, and yet, what can I say but thank you? Oh. I'm sorry, I don't have anything I could give you as a reward. Not with our village in shambles. Of course, once the village is rebuilt, we'll show you to be sure to show you just how warm our hospitality can be. 
Yes, I'm hopeful we can pay you, repay you for all you've done. One day, eventually. Now listen, everyone. Loreland Village has been given a chance at a fresh start. If we do all our part... Is there, like, custom music here? If we all do our part, I know that we can bring this baby back from the brink. So get ready, because old Bolson in here is going to help keep you busy until this village is rebuilt. Mm. Want to hear something pathetic? During the whole pirate raid, I was holed up in my house, hiding... After the evacuation, I'd snuck out, I snuck back to grab a change of clothes. Before I knew it, there were pirates outside, so I had no choice but to hunker down and pray they didn't find me. If not for you, they probably would have demolished my house with me in it. You saved my life, and you helped me come to an important realization. An outfit isn't worth risking your life for, no matter how good it makes your legs look. When I first saw that figure head towards Laurelin, honestly, I thought they'd be skewered for sure. One guy beating all those pirates? It's unthinkable, impossible, but somehow you did it. And because of that, I can now fish without fear. Then again, before I get out there and start fishing again, huh. I should really rebuild my house. Mm. Monsters did a number on it. Ugh. Look at the state it's in. Even the central pillar is broken. What do I know about repairing houses? I catch fish for a living. I want to go out and catch a feast worth of fish, tasty fish for you, our town savior. Right now, though, I'm a defeated man. Now the pirates are gone, even the air itself feels clean again. Truly, I can't thank you enough. Mm -hmm. By the way, you fought those pirates. It was incredible. Awe-inspiring. And now that you've driven them out, it's my turn to get to work. Mm. Yes, the pirates may be gone, but that doesn't mean we can roll out the welcome mat yet. Oh. We have to do something about the state of the village or no one will return home. Oh. Don't you worry. I might not look it, but I know a thing or two about construction. Besides, I owe you. No, I hold this whole village for taking me in. And I pay my debts. It's kind of my thing. Mm. Also, this village has charm. I can't wait to restore the restaurant and the lucky treasure shop to their former glory. Oh. Materials might be an issue, though. See, I'm going to need a rather large amount of logs and Hylian rice. And since I went to use the palm trees as central pillars in the buildings, the logs will have to come from somewhere else. How can I help? Huh? What did you say? No, I appreciate the offer, but... You've already done so much. You drove off those awful pirates, after all. I couldn't ask an outsider to go to so much trouble for us. Oh. Now, now, if he's offering to help, who are we to say no? <laughs> As of today, you and me are pals, and because we're pals, I'm going to let you help me. Now that that's decided, I'm going to briefly go over everything on our to-do list. First, we're going to rebuild each building's dis uh, foundation. Mm -hmm. So let's see, yeah. I think you collect 15 logs for me. That's what we'll need, and when I say logs, I don't mean ones from palm trees. I'm going to use the palm trees for something else important. So get those logs from other trees, okay? Mm. Also, I'm going to need 20 bundles of Hylian rice to repair the thatched roofs that were burned. Think you could handle that too? Oh. Thank you for everything. I won't be able to assist you myself. I'll be looking around and assessing the damage. Mama. I'm going to call this project the Great Luraland Village Revival. Our first collaboration. How exciting is that? <laughs> no pressure or anything, but I'll be counting on you. He needs rice for construction? Yeah. For the thatched roofs. He's gonna need, like, the whole rice plant. That or glue. You can't blow stuff up with that. That's lame. Who 
just get the wood from this pirate ship? down on uh, arrows. Oh, hopeful for a second, but no, so, but nope. One of that super slowdown of regulations and approval procedures. Uh, something school related. <laughs> Japanese skincare. Oh, that's interesting. Do I have to carry him 15 logs, or do I just give him 15 bundles of wood? Need 15 more. Here's the Hylian rice. Oh, just look at you go. I like the hustle. All that's left is to collect the logs. Just 15 more, please and thank you. Right now, they're shadows of their former selves, but once upon a time, these buildings were bursting with charm. There's the inn, famous for its salt spa and herb treatment that said to soothe and sore the muscles, the sore muscles of weary travelers. There's the restaurant, Azure Bay, where the visitors enjoy cuisine from all over the world. And there's a lucky treasure shop, known for entrancing travelers with a treasure game that has no losers. There's also the village head's house, where I happen to live, and Amas's ha Armas' house. That's about it. Oh. So look lively, we gotta rebuild this place, and quick! It's time to put the charm back in this charming village. Oh. You get yourself some logs by cutting down trees, but watch out, get carried away and cut the logs, and you got nothing but wood. And that's no good. Hmm. I saw lots of gorgeous trees growing out near the, around the hills near the village entrance. Remember, near the place where we were hiding out? I admit it's a bit of a hike. Sure would be nice if there was some way to carry the logs more easily. Oh. It's giving me Chrono Cross vibes more than uh, Animal Crossing, honestly. In the States, our sunscreen fucking sucks hard, and yet everyone else has better ones, and I'm not kidding. There's some filters that are way superior and efficient, yet they're not approved for use here, and the approval that has been has been a long slog for years. Really? Oh, why am I not fucking surprised? I have to get that precious painting from out of the rubble, but I can't possibly lift this stuff. wonder if Bolson can help. Now it's raining, one thing after another. Good, knowing Lorelin Village is being rebuilt through the generosity of others. Glad to see those pirates got what was coming, but some of the villagers still haven't returned yet. The village is restored to its former glory. You'll, they'll come wandering back. You'll see. I have no basis for that, mind you. I could just feel it in my bones. It's true, they are way better. Asian sunscreens in particular are really good, even the European ones are better. Wow. I have no more full heals, I'm gonna have to cook more. Time for the gray market, yeah, just import. Imported sunscreen.
You say that now, but Lamau, eh, uh, you have no idea. No, I don't have any idea. Shit! Knew there were too, too many there. I don't have an axe anymore. Now I do. Yeah, it turns out these these enemies cannot be. You can't really damage them if you don't have an axe. The only other way to hurt them is to set them on fire. <sighs> Fucking cut me a break here, bro. Tell me these are earthbound trees, yeah. You fuckers need to stay down. Is that? Get that off there. Knight's broadsword. Monster extract. Who dropped that? Enough with the hostility already. Didn't I fight enough of you fucks today?
twelve. I need five more or three more. These 12 down there, so I don't have to worry about them. Special delivery, Bolson. Whoa. Wait, just one minute. I'm guessing you want me to add this to our log collection. Sheesh, how about a hi, how you doing to go with it? Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the whole man a few words thing, but come on, I'm right here. Anywho, I'll go ahead and get this added to the stockpile. <laughs> no way, go ahead. Seeing someone work so hard and on so little sleep, it warms my heart. Thank you, I'll be sure to take good care of this. Thanks for getting those logs. That makes 12 in our collection. Oh. There's three more and we'll have all the logs we need. Oh. Gonna restore this charming... Yeah, yeah, we know. Oh. Four hands, blah, blah, blah. Get some bananas. Warp up here. There's probably uh, trees I could pluck from up there. trees over there. <clears throat> Alright, I forgot this weapon, uh, yeah, it gusts.
supposed to be uh, taking that out of here. Oh. Oh, it turns out the trees just grow back if you warp. Okay. Well, whatever. Not a whole lot to say tonight. Just, uh, just vibing while I finish this. Really wish I had more time to stream tonight. getting after those logs. That makes 15 in our collection. Now we have enough logs to make the repairs. Time to start rebuilding those buildings. Mm. First thing I gotta do is use those logs you've collected to shore up the foundations under the buildings. So hang tight for a bit, okay? I'll do the foundation work and check the state of the buildings while I'm at it. I'll be back before you know it. Sorry for the wait. Foundations are nice and solid. Now it's time to move on to repairing the buildings. There are five buildings that need fixing. Three of them are establishments. The inn, the restaurant, and the lucky treasure shop. And two of them are homes. The village head's house and Armas's house. The repair process will de depend on the building we're working on. So I'll explain once you decide where we start. Now we're getting to the real meat of the Great Lower Limmer Village Revival. So which building should we work on? An establishment it is. The inn. We're building the inn, are we? Ah. The inn is over there. It's far and known why it's well known far and wide for its salt spa. They use herbs and whatnot to soothe travelers' sore and weary muscles. Ooh. Let's move to over to the inn so I can do a better job explaining. Oh. 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 Alright, here we are. As you can see, the frame and the central pillar managed to hold up just fine, but if you look inside, you'll see there's a puddle of rainwater. Maybe the water won't be difficult, and the junk in there is a hazard and will make it impossible for me to work. I don't want to damage the framing, since we're lucky it's intact, but I'm not sure how to get rid of that debris. It won't be easy, but I think we're going to have to pull out it out piece by piece from above. Once all that junk is gone, I'll start rebuilding the work right away. It'll look incredible. Oh, there's like... It's literally flooded.
These are all noodle a little bit here. Well, well, I'm betting someone got rid of all that junk. That someone is you, by the way. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. Bolson, da 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 da, Bolson, hoo ah, hoo ah. Bolson, da 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 da, Bolson, sha shing, sha ding. Okie do, all done. Stored to its former glory, some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. The owner can move back in any old time. What's going on? I thought the pirates destroyed my place, but here it is, good as new! Ma. You two rebuilt it, didn't you? I was hiding out in the Gerudo region in the southwest, but it's just sand as far as the eye could see. I miss the ocean so much, I had to come back. And then I found this, I can't believe my inn is all fixed up. I'm stunned. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, I really must give you a thank you gift. <laughs> Brought this back as a little treat for everyone. Please come on by and enjoy the famous salt spa. No time to waste, the inn is open for business again as of today. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on our laurels. There's work to do, and it ain't doing itself. Look, you and me, we're beasts of construction. We'll have this place village put back together in no time. It's my first big job in a while, and I'm admittedly absolutely thrilled to be getting back at it. Now, which building should we work some magic on? An establishment it is. Which one should we get to work on? Restaurant. Rebuilding the restaurant, are we? I love how I've been taking off the fierce deity clothes this entire time. The restaurant is over there. Azure Bay is known for its incredible cuisine, you know. They offer dishes from all over the world. How about we relocate the restaurant so, to the restaurant so I can do a better job explaining all the work we need to do? Oh. Alright, here we are. Hmm. Central pillar is broken. We have to fix it pronto. After all, it provides vital support to the whole building. I already used the logs you collected to short the foundation, so... Oh. See that building over there? We can use a log from a palm tree to support this building the same way. Then we'll be set. See the holes in the roof and the floor? If they're, per they're the perfect fit for a log, all we need to do is put a log through them. Oh. When you pick a palm tree log, just make sure it's a straight one. You and me, pal, let's return these places to their former glory. <laughs> First and foremost, you're you're blocking the this block blocks block block blah 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 That, what is that emote? What is that emote? It's the thinking face, but it's like a triangle. That's really good. Oh, what's 
pitch perfect. Couldn't have found a better pillar to hold this place up myself. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. No. So I'm gonna do something to entertain myself while it's that quiet. Get a load of my handiwork. Talk about a perfect restoration job. The old building skills are sharp as nails, baby. Now all I have to do is wait for the owner to return and... <laughs> By the way, the sticky stuff you get is with Ultran is literally called Zonai Glue. Really? Hey, am I dreaming? Well, but it was all broken before. Look, Zuda, our house. It's all better, too. I just came to check on my restaurant and my house. I was so worried about them. Was... Was it you? Did you fix them? Thank you so much. Please, I want you to have this. Ooh. Tough seafood right, fried rice. All the dishes we serve at our restaurant, this is the one I'm most proud of. Please stop by anytime you're hungry. I'll treat you to meals the likes of which you've never tasted before. Hi! As of now, Azure Bay is open for business. Again. Oh. Hey, hey, this is no time to... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. More beasts, yep. Yeah. Lucky treasure shop is the only one that still needs fixing. Oh. Lucky treasure shop is over there. It's a charming spot that beguiles travelers with a traveling with a treasure game that, rumor has it, no one ever loses. Mm. How about we head to the lucky treasure shop? We do to fix that baby up. I'm a baby. I, that was perfect. Oh. Alright, here we are. A palm tree grew to the roof, up on a second story. It was a bit of a landmark, actually, but the damage is worse than I thought. I rebuilt the foundation using the logs you collected for me. Mm. But this building is so big that rather than connecting the roof and floor, the palm tree log should go in the plant pot on the second floor, then up through the hole to the roof. Oh. When it comes to selecting a good palm tree log, make sure you get yourself a straight one, okay? Alright. This is way more fun than scrounging up materials. You just get to do like a little puzzle for each one. Perfect. Couldn't find a better pillow to hold up this place myself. <laughs> Don't worry, that wasn't my neck, that was my fingers. Yes, it's perfect. Oh, it's the biggest building in this village, so returning it to its former glory wasn't easy. But the owner's going to love it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What exactly is going on here? I was sure the monsters had done my shop in. Oh. The pirates were gone and came running. Can't believe I can open my shop again. Never thought this day would come. Ah. This place means everything to me. My old man, rest his soul, left it to me. Here, please. I have to thank you. Take this. Ooh, bomb flowers, nice. <laughs> I picked several of them while I was hiding out. I was planning to throw them at the pirates, but there's no need for that now. Because of you, the lucky treasure shop is back in business. In fact, you don't even need rupees. You could be broke and still come in and try your luck. Doors are open, starting now.
We fixed up all the establishments. Now time to move on to the houses. Which one are you thinking? Armors this house. We're building Armors this house, are we? Mm. Armors this house is there. I recall Armors said he wanted a spot outside to display his biggest catches. Mm. Why don't we relocate? It'll be easier for me to explain what we need to do. <laughs> Oh. All right, here we are. Hmm. The center pillar is broken, so we have to repair it pronto. I restored this building's foundation using the logs you collected for me. So we can place a log from a palm tree through the holes in the roof to the floor, like I mentioned. That should do it. Oh. Just make sure it's a straight one. Yeah, 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 we know. Same as before. Perfect, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just leave the rest to me. Yep. I was hoping there'd be a little more variety. Three of the four so far have been stick stick log and hold. Uh, behold, what you see before you is the work of a true craftsman. Oh, oh, my house is fixed! You really fixed it, thank you. I could finally get back to making a living. I'm really sorry I wasn't any help. Please take this as, as kind of an apology. Nice. Now I could go fishing again. You know, I don't, need many I don't need very many fish myself, so I share the extras I catch with other folks. <laughs> Usually save them for people here in the village, but I really owe you for fixing my house. If I have extras to share, I'll put them in front of my house. Please take whatever you need. Ah. Thank you for the rupees. Little Ted's house is the only one that still needs fixing. Oh. The house is there. That, ha that's, that's, that is where the village head and his family live. They've been letting me stay with them, too. Oh, it was so cozy. They even had a little something from Princess Zelda on display. Then along came those awful monsters. Mm. How about we head over there so I can explain what we need to do to fix the place up? <laughs> Alright, here we are. Central pill is broken, so we need to repair it pronto. I already shored up the- yeah, yeah, yeah. Place a log, yeah, it's gotta be a straight one. I gotta figure out how to get my precious painting from out of the rubble. It's so heavy, though, I'm not strong enough to move it. I wonder if Bolson can help. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. It's all done. From here on out, I'll have a comfy place to sleep at night. Uh. Oh, I thought I heard the sound of hammering come from the house. It's exactly how it was before. Uh. Not that the house's main building went undamaged, but the detached hut where Bolson is staying was destroyed. I was worried, so worried about finding a place for him to sleep, but not anymore. Mm. Sorry to go through the trouble of fixing our house. Here, I'd like to give you something for the repairs. Uh -huh. The tastiest fish you could catch around here. Grill it, stew it, whatever you like. It's always delicious. There was a picture from Princess Zelda on display in the detached hut. Quick, let's make sure it's not damaged. Oh. You bet it is. Every uh, last building, building, you bet it is. Every last building in the village is good as new. <laughs> Incredible. How can I ever thank you? To think you restored the village so quickly. Feast is most certainly in order tonight. Whoa. Did you hear that? A feast. He said a feast is in order. Oh dear, you think I should change my outfit? Actually getting a cutscene. Nice. Oh. The day the pirates attacked and overran the village, I was so desperate to get everyone to safety. Before I knew it, our beloved home was gone. And after everyone fled, the only sound coming from Lurland Village was the sound of monsters. Mmm, fish stew. Hey, Jem. Yeah, fish stew sounds good. I never thought, never dared to dream, I'd live to see the day we could all laugh together again like this. Oh. This moment right now, it's all thanks to you. Of course, I'm extremely grateful to Bolson as well. Oh. No, no, there's no need to thank me. After all, when I first drifted into this village, you all welcomed me with open arms, didn't you? The work I did here, it's just my way of paying that kindness oh. back. Bolson, thank you. This village owes you a debt. In fact, I think it's safe to say that you're this village's savior. Oh. Now, I talked about this with the rest of the folks around here, and we do not have enough money or treasure to repay you for saving our home. Oh. But the treasure we do have, well, it's this village and everyone in it. So from now on, we'll do everything we can to share our hospitality with you. Hi. For the village's savior, I'll provide a bed for free anytime. Oh. You're also welcome to eat at the restaurant as much as you like, free of charge, of course. The village's savior may not need to test his luck, but I'm sure it'd be fun to play the treasure chest game once in a while. Oh. Please feel free to take anything you can find in the village. Oh, I'm awash in emotions. I can't hold back anymore. Oh. Zuta, Kinov. Oh. Look lively, it's time for the... Construction dance? Oh no. Yeah, free food. Mm -hmm. Lurlin Revival da 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 dance That's gonna be the thumbnail right there. That was nice. This village little tingle vibes right there. Yeah, kinda. This village had literally no relevance in, in Breath of the Wild. You just went here and there was like nothing to do. But now the village is like a nice little like resting area, I guess. It's a lost cause. My poor shirt. What should I do? Try to distract myself by reading the paper. Ooh. Let's see. The latest article is res Resort Restored and Ready for You. Lurland Village has been returned to its former beauty, with locals crediting one man as the savior behind its comeback story. How about that? In the news again. Ooh. Met the guy while I was living in a tent, and the new other newspaper's calling him a savior. Uh. Oh. Uh. Welcome to Azure Bay, the world's the village's premier and only restaurant. Hey, it's you. I was wondering when the village savior would drop by. We met at the Skyview Tower. I knew you were different from the other travelers. Lurlin owes you and Bolson a lot for fixing our houses, rebuilding our shops, and restoring our community. Anyway, the feast we had was a delight. Seeing Bolson and my boys dance together really tickled me. Even remembering it now, I can't help but chuckle. Say, so, you hungry by chance, or maybe you'd like a meal for the road? Here at Azure Bay, I try to surprise my customers with meals they've never had before. I learned a lot of new recipes during my travels, and I want to share them with the adventurous eaters in Lurlin. And for you, the village's savior, it's on the house. I'll take it. Seafood paella. Paella. No fisherman's birthday bash would be complete without this top-shelf seafood dish. Okay, enjoy. 
I always like putting unique new dishes on my menu, so do come again. Ah. Sorry, I'm sold out for the day. I need to get a new menu, so please give me some time. Hey, you're the guy who fixed our house and our village and stuff. Thanks, Savior Guy. Um, thank you. What'd you think? Pretty good, huh? I met you at the Skyview Tower. I'm learning how to walk on the ocean. It's hard. B but my big brother and I are trying to find sunken treasure. It's a blue treasure chest with an iron shirt in it. Hey, it's the guy who fixed our house. Being in a tent was kind of fun. Like having a secret base. But I'm way happier we're back home. You know, mister, everyone's calling you the savior of our village. Thanks for putting everything back how it used to be. Sorry, but I can't play right now. I gotta find my dad's blue shirt. It's dad's favorite thing. He loves it so much he put it in an iron chest so nobody would take it. But I checked everywhere and I couldn't find the chest. I think those pirates sank it, so it's probably in the bay since it's too heavy to float away. Dad's pretending like he doesn't mind, but I bet he's really sad it's gone. Gotta get it back. Dad's blue shirt. That's probably it over there. So you're our savior, huh? Thought you'd be tougher looking. You must be pretty strong beneath the surface. Dude, look at me. My eyes are pure white. I'm a fucking god. Did I tell you before in Hateno Village that my wife is from here? She'd been feeling awful ever since those pirates attacked. But after you sent them packing, we decided it was time to move. Guess we should start learning the ins and outs of the Luralin dialect. Hey now, what's on your mind? You're thinking about teaming up with your old pal Bolson again, aren't you? I'm not surprised our chemistry is out of this world, yeah? Funny thing is, I was just talking to the mayor about creating some kind of new attraction in Luralin. Mm. Yes, I'd like it to be some kind of entertainment, something everyone could really get behind and enjoy. Mm. You've traveled all over the place, have you? Have you any marvelous ideas to share? Host a water rally? Open a floating hotel? Mama. Oh my, how romantic! We already have an inn. We need some kind of entertainment that this village doesn't exist here. Off of underwater tours? Mm. I like it. Sounds dreamy. Oh. Sounds yes, 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 but breathing would be a problem. So some kind of water-related entertainment would be nice. To host a water rally. Host a rally race on the water? Clever. Very clever, don't you think? Oh. Mm, well, it would be a brand new form of water-related amusement. <laughs> I could do the trick. Yes, in fact, I think that's it. Oh. I seem to recall Hudson saying something about inviting some hotshot professional racers to develop some new vehicle. If we could work with them. Hudson, you mean the fellow from Tarrytown Place in Northeastern Akala? I'd love to invite the racers here once they finish their work there. Oh, that's why they said they had to leave. Though I do wonder if real professional racers would be willing to come to a place like this. Lurland Resort Project. Okay, well, we know what we need to do for that. I see multiple chests. Probably another five rupees. Yep. Why I take out two control sticks? Damn it. Well, whatever. How's my new appliances going? The the oven's working fine. We still don't have the uh, microwave in yet. But we did finally remove the old one today. Island lobster shirt, a soft, comfortable shirt traditional to a southern island. It's made of a breathable fabric, so it's well suited to warm regions. You guys figured it out. It was it was a pain. That that microwave was installed in the 80s, and it was it, it was like bolted into the wall in multiple spots. It was a pain to get out. We had to get our friend we had to get mom's co-worker to help us out with it. Oh, it's the uh, it's the Wind Waker shirt. Link, Hero of Hyrule, and also Community Project Manager, <laughs> yeah. Switches, what do you mean bolted? So, 
The oh, that was a shield. Okay, so. Yeah, I got the I got the new the new clothes from Wind Waker. So the way the microwave was installed in my house, um, it was, it's like it was like in a holder because it's above our oven, and the holder was bolted into the wall. So we had to remove the microwave and the holder because the holder's not going to be compatible with the new microwave, and uh, it was a big pain. We had to literally, we literally had to like pull the we to, they. The, the person who helped us had to pull the microwave part way out, remove all the lighting underneath it, cut all the wires, and then found a single screw that was holding it all together in order to pull it out. And we we just gutted the whole thing because the new microwave is going to have its own uh, like shelf for it to go on. One screw. Well, it was one. It wasn't just one screw holding it in, but it was one screw that we couldn't find to get rid of it to like get it out. What's that iron chest with Dad's blue shirt? Hey, you smell like my dad, mister. That's a weird thing. Maybe, did you find my dad's blue shirt? Here you go. That color, that smell, it sticks, it sticks in my nose. There's no mistaking it. This is Dad's blue shirt. Thank you, mister. I gotta go tell my dad. Dad! This guy found your shirt, Dad. It smells like you. <laughs> So that's what you two were doing on the beach all day. Looking for this? Thought you were out playing. Gosh, thanks for finding this, guys. Oh. And you, saving villages, finding lost items. What can't you do? My trusty blue shirt. When I was a young man, I used to wear it all the time. But I haven't put it on since the boy's mom started picking out my clothes. Seems a shame to keep that beauty in a moldy old chest, though. Say, would you want it? Okay, well, I got the shirt back. Nice. Huh? Well, but Dad, weren't you sad about the shirt? Oh yeah, the one I'm wearing. It was eating soup and it got a big stain on it. Thought it was ruined. But then Mommy got rid of the stain, so it's as good as new. Oh, so all this time we were worried about the wrong shirt? Wah. Wrong shirt, wrong shirt. <laughs> Afraid so, kiddo. But I'm grateful for what you did for did that all for all for you, baby, baby, old man, baby, baby. I'm having a stroke. Honestly, I can't believe how fast you two are growing up. Make your dad proud, you know that? Very, very proud. Village head makes his next move. Hmm. Mr. Rosal, the head of a recovering village called Lorland Village, will stop at nothing to attract visitors with new attractions. Ha, <laughs> I don't doubt it. He and Bolson spend hours a day talking over at Corn Beach. Who knows what they're planning? I'm excited to see what they do. Can I do? <laughs> you, I heard what you did. Helping Bolson rebuild the village? That's amazing, truly. When I heard everyone talking about a hero that's saving the village, I thought it might have been you. Thank you so much. I know my father, Roselle, is grateful too. When we heard the monsters occupying the village were driven out, we decided to come and look for ourselves. Overall, I'd say it's mo looking mostly as it did before. I was born and raised here, so I really appreciate all you've done. Now I'd like to do my part to help things get going again in Luralyn. Problem is, I'm so hungry I can't think of ideas. Only food. Like that one meal I ate a long time ago. Hylian rice with Goron spice and porgy. Mmm. Hylian rice, Goron spice, porgy. Mm. That just makes me hungry. With a few fork rolls in my stomach, I have the brain power to come up with an idea for living at the village. We're gonna go find that meal. Not for here. Those ingredients aren't easy to come by. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Rattled relayer. Okay. Uh, so let's get ourselves out a delicious cooking pot. So she wanted Goron Spice and Porgy? And what else? Dish Hylian yeah, Hylian rice. Okay. Where's my Goron Spice? There it is. I only have two of them. Hylian rice and a Porgy. Why is this sorted weird? Tough seafood curry grants a lolo. This dish brims with treasures from the sea. 
Spice packs a kick, so it's not for kids. Yum yum. Oddly enough, this talk of food is making you hungry too. Oh, it's making me very hungry. The intoxicating smell is that. Yep, seafood curry. Oh, the smell. This is the dish I've been dreaming of. You made it for me? Thank you so much. And now I eat. <laughs> That's spicy flavored, balanced by a strong note of umami. It's just too delicious. So satisfying. At last, I could start thinking of ways to draw in visitors. Let's see. Wait. Oh, no. Hot. Hot. The Goron Spice is burning me up. I can't focus when my whole body's on fire. What do I do? I need a gust of wind to cool me down. Are you kidding me? All right. Ah, much better. Now I'm nice and cool. Wait a sec. I, I got an idea. A flag. We can make a flag as a symbol for the village. That'll help draw in visitors and liven up the community. I'm gonna start working on the design. Okay, okay. This here. That there. Piece of cake. Should've let her cook. <laughs> it's, it's lucky I had that wind-blowing sword on hand. Satisfactory job, if I do say so myself. Thanks. Really, I couldn't have dreamed up such a great idea without your help. Now I think I'm going to go liven up Lurland Village with a new flag. Here, it's the fabric I used for the flag. Maybe you'll find some other use for it. You hang glider. If you go to Hateno Village's dye shop, they could probably help with that. How much debris I dug for? I couldn't find the precious painting. Honestly, I lost hope it would ever be recovered. Bolson told me that it was th th thanks to you. It was and in perfect condition. Moving rubble, building houses. Is there anything you can't do? You know, I'm set to be the head of this village someday. I only hope I'm as good at solving problems as you, our village's savior. Link's like, nah, let me cook. The frame rates are a little fucky. What's oh, you, the traveler? Good to see you again. It's... it's me, remember? We met at Kara Kara Bazaar. If you're a horrible vow if you could forget a fabulous woman like me. No. But your saving grace is that you've done so much good around here. You beat those awful pirates and you rebuilt my inn, without which, without which I'd have no way of making a living. <laughs> yes, indeed. The whole village benefits from the customers I draw here. Sark so from the bottom of my heart. Now then, my special salt so spa will soothe your body and soul. Oh. You can use the bed here for free, or you would like to experience our calming salt spa, which uses rock salt? You don't know what the salt spa is. You're missing out. In short, I give you a massage using rock salt mixed with Laurelin seawater. It will relax you like nothing else. I ask you to bring your own rock salt, but it's worth it. You'll be amazed at how soft it makes your skin feel. Oh. So what'll it be? Oh. Ask my customers to bring their own rock salt for the spa. I need five pieces of rock salt. Is that okay? Here you go. Oh. For how long? Until morning. Oh. Now relax and leave the rest to me. <laughs> you got some knots back there. Soon you'll feel fresh as a coastal breeze. <laughs> the funniest one is the Goron massage. Because you hear the Goron, like, crack your back. And Link, Link screams at the end of it. You better be smooth and refreshed, yeah? No. Savak! Oh, there I go again. I can't seem to shake off the Gerudo language. I meant to say rise and shine. No matter what time it is, that's the best thing to hear when you wake up. <laughs> Come on, try your luck. Well, look who it is, the kid who sent the pirates packing. The kid who rebuilt the whole village, including this humble establishment. When we met the stable, I took you for the fragile type. Glad you proved me wrong. Ooh. But enough sappy stuff. This is the lucky treasure shop, which I run what you'd call a game of luck. See those treasure chests? Pick any one of them and open it. Don't be shy. Crack one open. There's like stuffing cages. 
A single rupee. Ah. Come here, kid. Let's see it. Green. Okay. So that means that you're the prize on the left. <laughs> Take it, thief. Ooh. Must be pretty happy scoring that prize for free. I like it delivered to your place of residence. Too bad I don't do that. Oop, also, I'll take that rupee back. It's not for you to keep. <laughs> so that's the game. Pick a chest and win a prize. All upside. One catch. I have to cap how much you play or I'd go bankrupt. Well, you want me to shut me down right after you put me back in business, would you? Didn't think so. Come back later if you want another round. Oh, shock like stone. What else we got there? Uh, that looks like a... Lizalfos piece? What is this? What is this weird spiked thing? Huh. Gotta wait, kid. Bugging me's not gonna change my answer. So I guess you really want to play that badly. No, never mind. Just come back later. <laughs> I know that smell anyway. That's the smell I dream about. Sure enough. You got a roasted porgy in that pouch, don't you? Give it. <laughs> Thanks, kid. I have a real weakness for roasted porky. Porgy. Tell you what. Seeing as you were generous, I'll bend the rules and let you play again. Red? That means you get the prize on the right. Lucky man. Ooh. Must be pretty happy scoring that prize for free. If you'd like to deliver your place of residence, too bad I don't do that. Oop, boss, I'll take that rupee back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is this? Blue Hinox horn. I haven't found a blue Hinox yet, have I? This mean looking horn is wrapped in hard chains. Attach it to a weapon and it moderately increases attack power. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. <laughs> all right, I get all the chests. Ah. Oh. <laughs> gotta hand it to. Gotta hand it to you. You wanted all my prizes and you got them. Good to you. Just give me back time to restock before you come back. Blue maned Lionel Saber Horn. Uh, thank you. Look, Lorelin's looking as good as I've ever seen it. Never know monsters tore this place apart. But as a humble fisherman, I'm afraid the only offers I can rewards I can offer are this slippery, scaly variety. Oh. Wait, have you been to the Lucky Treasure Shop? One has ruled that if you play once, you can't come back for a while. But he's got a soft spot for roasted porgy. If you give him some, he'll let you play the game again. That's a secret, but as our town's savior, I think you've earned the right to hear it. Oh, we already know that. I've already done it. Alright, I think that's everyone in the village. I think we've done our part here, outside of the uh, outside of the new attraction. Blue cows. Now, I never understood if these treasure chests are already here or not. Yep. Ah, fisherman shield. High durability. Good boy. Alright. 
we more or less cleared everything out over here, I believe. We just have to work on that new attraction. Resort project. Racing professionals. We know where those are. Also, unknown... We could do both of these in one go. If we, uh... If we have time. Or I might just do the final labyrinth. We could do that as well. I bought every single, uh... Room possible to make a house. I haven't made a new one yet, but I have 15 of every possible room. And they actually do say, like, oh, you bought every room we have, and I'm like, wow, you make it so hard to do so. Why would you put custom dialogue for that if it's, <laughs> if it's like, that hard to do it? I see Durg over there. More or less the same. I found Spot as well, and then uh, the guy was like, hey, you could have the horse if you want. I'm like, oh, thank you. There he is. Spot. He was right outside the, the, the outpost. So yeah, it's the same house I had before with the thing. Oh, I could get that fish again, though. Sunken carp. I still have my, my really good weapons here. But yeah, at some point I'm going to redo the house and just make something wacky or nice. I don't know yet. So we had the last two streams essentially focused on two different towns. We had we had Tarry Town and now we had Laurelin Village this town this time. to go. Did they actually leave? Oh. Well, we might not be able to do anything about this right now. Oh, no, they're right there. Here to do some driving this morning. If you want to plan out a fast run, you should think about getting yourself a bird's eye view of the race course. Sure you can run the course a bunch, but I'll only get you so far. Study the course and plan your moves. Use your eyes. Something you want to ask. What's this all about? This isn't the place to talk. Why don't we go somewhere more relaxing? So each village has its own set of quests. I mean, yeah, more or less, but it's weird because Tarrytown and Laurelin Village are kind of like not major plot point areas. And it's just weird that the last two streams now have been revolved around going to those two specific spots. I see. So it's a race that takes place on water right off, right there off the Laurelin Village shore. Racing on the ocean. I don't know. Sounds difficult. Maybe even impossible. Mm -hmm. No, that's not true, Shabon. Racing in a place where there's no roads. Racing on the ocean. No, it's not impossible. The possibilities are endless. Uh -huh. Oh, well, Tali, you're all fired up. But I don't know what to do here. If we just up and leave the construction site, we'll be leaving Furnison in the lurch. Uh -huh. I'll be fine. I was able to get the data I needed thanks to the both of you and this one here. Go help him out and don't worry about me. Building a race course on the water sounds like fun. I wouldn't want you to miss out. Though if you don't mind, could you gather some data from the water-faring vehicles? That's a kind offer. Sucks so. I'm willing to bet you need lots of equipment to get the water rally up and running. So please take any Zonai devices or building materials you think you need from here. Ah. Sucks so. You know, when this project started, I was sure we'd gotten the bad end of a bargain. But nah, this was fun. Oh. It was a valuable experience indeed. I thank you. Ah. No, thank you. Huh, things are quieter around here now. Glad I sent them off with a smile, but the truth is... I'd still like to get more data. They should help rule- okay. So they're just going back to the village now.
are they? Oh. I guess this just goes on its own thing. I'll wear it since it's thematic. There we go. Using the surface of the water like that. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Fascinating indeed. I'm dying to get to work. <laughs> we got this. No problem. Isn't that right, Tali? Oh. Yes, if we use the village's boats, even the children should be able to enjoy it. Hmm? Oh. If it isn't our savior, I understand we have you to thank for inviting these two. Huh? And good thing, too. Now that they're here, this project is sure to be sun and done. Oh. Leave it to us. Oh. It's been a while since oh. I've had a big project. I can't wait to show you what I can do. But first, I gotta get my noggin in the building zone. Okay, yes. That's it. Shuck. And I'm ready. Let's do this! Ta-da! Some of my finest work! Yes, exciting. Here, look at that. It's perfect for us! You're more incredible than I imagined it would be. This place, this in place, lower than village is sure to be even more prosperous. Ah. I was always so already so grateful for you to driving the pirates out of the village and village and rebuilding it. I never expected you to do so much more for us. As head of this village, I must thank you once again. Thank you. We are filled with gratitude toward you. And since you saved our village, there is no fee for you to use the course. Please enjoy it any time you like. Oh. Moreover, to honor you as our village savior, we shall name the event the Savior's oh. Race. Oh. What? You've got to be kidding. How about something classy like, I don't know, Laurelin Water Rally? Uh, I've been given some weird name to a rally we helped with. Mm. Laurelin Water Rally is better. Mm. Well then, the Laurelin Water Rally it is. Mm. Now if you want to give the wa Laurelin Water Rally a spin, and I'm sure you do, come to me talk to me anytime. This course is a wash in bolson and charm, and I can't wait for you to try it. Uh, Look lively, everyone. Time to get to our stations. Laurelin Water Rally Rulebook. Successfully, you must touch all the lights and return the starting part within the time limit. You'll be disqualified if you take your hands off the steering stick or go too far, of course. Compete with any vehicle you like as long as this use the steering stick that's provided. Once your vehicle is ready, make sure it's floating on the water at the starting line and speak to the race organizer. Rally right, begins with the gate opens. Beginner course, no record. Intermediate, no record. Expert, no record. Take a look at the route in advance to visualize your path to the course. Your vehicle will not perform as well as it's is if it's tilting on the water. Balance is key. Since you can't make sharp turns or decelerate, it's important to steal carefully and not rush through the course. Trainer is essential to building a good vehicle. If you're struggling to finish the race, try changing up your design. Ah. Trainer gave us a bunch of those zonide thingamajigs as souvenirs. She was really excited about it too. She said it would help, it would help with the their work it recognized and whatnot. She even thought to use taught us how to use this junk. Can't admit these things are going to be a real big part of our races from now on. Ah, uh, look at me running at the mouth. Guess I'm just excited. Anyway, the zonide gizmos are here. Feel free to use them. But treat them right. We're going to use them too, after all. Ah, oh, this rain. Will it ever let up? Well, I appreciate the fact that you come running over right to the, here to gib gabble with us. Bolson there has been giving us a little stink eye. Seems he wants your attention. Go and say hello to him, will ya? L those looks of his might set something on fire. <laughs> Racing on the surface of ocean. Never experienced anything like it. Filled with new ideas for building vehicles. Uh -huh. Hey, don't go bothering Tolly. She's using her racing smarts to think up some new vehicle designs. We're going to take a run at the course. Come talk to me instead. I'm gonna take a look at the course, talk to Bolson. I'm gonna watch her run and check out your technique. 
you know, use that to get a bead on things. Welcome to the Laurelin Water Rally! As you know, this thrilling event takes place on the open ocean. We have a variety of courses to choose from and encourage you to select the one that floats your boat. Ah! Needless to say, you could join the fun free of charge. How did the villager toss me in the ocean if I took money from the village savior? You're inquisitive, I like it. So which course are you interested in? You bet. Be give me a minute to get it ready. Now then, I'll just flip the switch here for the beginner course. Check out the lights, baby. We put a whole lot of love into this course, and that love shines bright. Get a good look at the course on the terrace above. Maybe do a little race visualiz visualization while you're out there. Come back to me when you're ready to take it for a spin. Okay, four lights. That's not too bad. Done visualizing how you'll conquer the course. Turn off the lights. I want to try this course. All right, I like your enthusiasm. Now then, the first thing you need to do is build your own vehicle. Use the materials we have here if you want. This is your dream machine, so it's up to you. Mm. When your dream machine is ready to go, set it to float on the water. Oh. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll open the gate. Okay? Almost forgot. I've almost I've been asked to track the data from this rally race. So make sure you attach that steering stick you were given to your vehicle. I mean, I'm. Pretty sure we could do this with the basic shit. We don't need to get too fancy with it. Mm. I'm gonna need you to get in your vehicle and wait for my signal. We do. Let's go over the rules. This time limit for the beginner course is two minutes exactly. To clear the course, touch all the lights and get back to the gate within that time. Take your hands off the steering stick once you've grabbed it or straying too far off the course. Those are big no-nos. Enough said. Here goes! Oh, I just realized you could see the the Tarrytown platforms underneath. First, let you get off the water. Let's get you off the water, okay? Hey. hey, now look who cleared the beginner course. Talk about skills! What a thrill it was to see you in action. You deserve something special for that. Here's a little reward. A battery. Mm -hmm. You get this too. Oh, Rosh and Porgy. Kiana over the restaurant put all her heart into making it for the hero of the village. That's you, by the way. If this, if it's fantastic flavors you fancy, be sure to make your way to Azure Bay. Mm -hmm. Want to give it another try? That's the face of a man who's done great things. What a thrill that was! Please come back and do it again any old time. So which course is it gonna be? Intermediate. Not a bad choice. Olsen, you're up. It's race time! I'm on it! I'm gonna need you to get in your vehicle and wait for my signal. Intermediate, intermediate. Ah, oh, it's this switch. Blah, 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 blah. I'm talking really fast. What? What I say that was uh, that was bad.
It's been a long day. I haven't really been feeling 100%. Hell tired for the past few days. Oh yeah, no, I don't blame you. With all the work you've been doing. Oh. Mm. You go, I could barely breathe the whole time. You've earned an urge prize. Here's something special for you. More batteries. Mm -hmm. You get this too. Mighty salt grilled fish. Nice. Mm -hmm. Party and secondary party in the current cleanup, yeah. Are the parties over? Not a bad choice. Bolson, you're up. It's race time. Let's see. The switch for the expert courses. Two minutes and 30 seconds for this one. I suppose there was another party gathering. Ah. Oh, the battery's fucking running out. Oh, whatever. Not like I don't have almost max battery at this point. I'm only missing two whole batteries and that's it. And I have a temp battery that I've never used. Now it's the holy shit, clean up the art S S what? At art STDs? What the hell are those? What the hell does that mean? Glitter. Oh. Yeah, no, I remember what I remember you saying that to me. Because once the glitter's there, it gets all- it spreads and it gets all over everything. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Wow, you look who cleared the expert course. My heart was dumping the whole time. You deserve a prize, all right. Here's a little something special. Five batteries. You get this, too. Tough salt grilled crab. Beginner, intermediate, expert. All right. Guess there's really nothing else to get from that, huh? Alright, I guess that's it. That's truly it for Lurlin at this point. That was nice, like the whole stream was kind of just focused on fixing this village up. I'm thinking... Got some cake and holy cheese, it was good. Mmm. Wasn't cheesecake though, right? It's almost symbolic, woo, yeah. I think, um, I think what we're gonna do for streams is to- What the hell is that noise? Tomorrow- Oh, it's the water putting out the flames. Tomorrow I'm gonna do Ghost Trick. Full stream of Ghost Trick. Uh, Wednesday I'll do another Zelda stream, and then Thursday's gonna be Mega Man. And then Friday, I'm probably not streaming. Lara, I love you. Pineapple coconut trace leches. It's just one of the better cakes you've had. That sounds good. What is it, Rhodes? Surely it's now's the time not to wake up yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were my husband. 
Everyone's calling you the town savior. I'm no exception. I even credit you with the flag I made for Luralyn. If it's all about Okay, yeah. We'll go to Hateno right now and do that. It's weird that all like the minor towns are on the right side of the map. Well, I guess Hateno wouldn't really be considered a uh, a minor town. Then again, none of the major plot points take place in any of those towns. Village fabric. Oh, that's nice. It's a big fish on a yellow, yellow fabric. I like that. <laughs> of course you do, because yellow. Yeah, but I like the bird one more. Okay. I should equip this if I'm doing the fishing stuff, since it's the Wind Waker shield, which has a demon on it. I didn't notice that until I watched the beginning of Vinny's um, Wind Waker rem uh, Wind Waker HD stream a f a f like a couple weeks ago, and I didn't realize that there is just straight up a demon on the shield. four, though. I need to stop, unfortunately. I could just try to do this, though, real quick. Finally beat one of these on stream. So I could free myself to fight them off stream if I really want to. shrines in this game. They're, they're not as good as this, because the previous game, all the shrines were in very convenient locations near, like, major areas. Now it feels like they're all purposely shaken up, so it's a little harder to get to spots. And then you still have to put out the work when you want to go somewhere new. Plus, so many of them are inside caves now that don't have immediate exits. Look at this. I'm just trying to get out of here.
this will let me clear two quests at once, because if, if this thing drops its guts, which it should, then I can clear another quest as well. I mean, the real sucky part is that it doesn't really... Shit, I shouldn't have wasted that. Uh, that shot from that that bow. Uh, it doesn't really matter if I... like it, it, Because the blood moon will just bring it right back, which is annoying. moves, okay. Okay. Yeah, this, this is what happened when I tried fighting the ice one. It just, there's just like no way to avoid any of this. God. All right, let's uh let's reload. There's four versions of this of this monster. There's one that's has all three elements on it. Okay, that didn't work. Not doing a lot of damage. This is definitely a half assed way of doing this.
Yeah, I definitely gotta find a better way to do that. Leoc Flamehorn. I didn't get any guts! Oh, That kinda sucks. None of that stuff was new either. I had never fought one of these before. Alright, well I gotta still find a regular Gleok. Well, wait, there's no regular Gleoks because they all have elements. How do I get Gleok uh, guts then? Is it just random? Did I just get that unlucky? Where are the guts anyway? Right here. Boss Bokoblin, Gibdo, Bokoblin, Horriblin. We haven't si seen the Gibdos on stream yet. Why not some butts? No. Didn't get his three anuses because it's got three head. No, I'm joking. It's four o'clock. I need to stop. Not a ton else here, huh? Just a random enemy blocking the way. No Koroks, nothing, nothing. There's a uh, Kilton's brother over there. There's secrets in this build, like these tall structures here, but fuck if I know. It's gonna get a little dark, isn't it? Tiny island, blah blah blah, fascinating shape. We'll see it set for itself once it clears up a little, huh? Just another reminder that there's a, a thing here, which I've already gotten. I've already gotten all the tiny islands. There's a glitch. I mentioned this before, but in the original Breath of the Wild, if you stand in here, I think they've probably fixed it in this game, but like if you stand in the little broken alcove in this specific spot, uh, you, the cell shading goes away. And Link looks very like drab and dark. It glitches out of existence. Oh yeah, and that whirlpool down there, that just leads to a cave with a shrine in it. But to get into the shrine, you need to carry down a, uh, a stone from that, from one of those two islands up there. Like, you actually have to bring it down to the floor. There's one on the other end, too. I don't think I ever checked. Anyway, there's three things I could do once I go back to the outpost. I could turn in that... Beating that monster I just killed. Uh, there's... I got the well at the beginning of the stream that I can turn in for an extra ten rupees. If I really want to. I mean, I might as well. I'm there. And then, uh, I think... Pura will say something about Lurlin. Alright, you know what? It's raining. We're not gonna get up there anyway. Let's just go look at landing.
Thank you. Welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your ventures. Thanks for the help, uh, yeah, upheaval. Hmm. Let's hear about the other village, too. Mm -hmm. It's a fishing village called Lurlin in the southeast edge of, of Hyrule. It's currently overrun by pirates. Some villagers fled, and while some st stayed put. So they're all scattered all over. Hmm. We should have kept a closer watch, but it doesn't... So new I want more info. Talk to Atmos down the shelter. Uh oh. Hmm. Check it. I thought she would react to Lurlin being all, like, hmm. back to normal. Check it. Good. Hey, are you playing in the rain? Thunder's a little scary, but rain is so fun. Me mm -hmm. playing? No way, I'm scouting. Lurland's in a bad spot. Worried everyone about everyone back home at Lurland Village. Keep hoping they get keep hoping they got away from the pirates. Mm. Me too. We're so fortunate to take in refuge here. Can't say the same for everyone else. Village is out in the uh, yeah, we know. Mm. This would be the first blah blah blah. Never thought we'd mm. hmm? Are you a customer? Eh? You must have overheard the bad news. We were speaking freely because we didn't figure any customers would come by at this hour, but enough about that. Oh. Pirates are already gone? And Roselle and everyone from the village are okay too? Oh. Thank goodness. I'm so glad. They're all safe. I was beside myself. Oh. Top it off, the ruined buildings have all been restored? <laughs> Thanks for bringing us the best possible news. <laughs> Please have this as a sign of our gratitude. Nice, more food. Mighty salt grilled crab is my finest cooking. It's a dish that really brings out the warrior in you. Please enjoy. Mm. The pirate's gone, the village back to normal. I have to wonder how our little shop back home is doing. Even if I have to go on my own, maybe I should return to Laurelin Village. Ah. But I'd be alone if you'd be lo be lonely without me, then I could stay here, Mubs. Huh? Don't be ridiculous. With Laurelin restored, we villagers need to come together and bring life back to our once bustling little village. Oh. I could take care of the shop here, no problem. You should get going to the village. You should get the village shop open pronto and start saving money too. Good call, yeah. Though I'd prefer to stay with you a little longer. Okay, I'll make my way to Lurlin Village. Leave the village shop to me. Village attacked by pirates. And done. Give me the Hylian rice, give me that Hitano cheese. Give me the arrows too, obviously. Stuff I already have. Oh. I hunted something. Three headed monster. Such an uncanny beast. Well, that's the stuff legends are made of, and to do so single handedly. I expect nothing less from a swordsman of your renown. It's not much, but I've got a reward for your valor. Please take it. Oh, you defeated all the unusual monsters that were reported. I'm speechless. Well, mostly. I'm thoroughly impressed. Please take this. Fear some foes that were beyond what we of the Monster Control Crew could have handled ourselves. Thank you so much for your aid. While you were out hunting monsters, we received eyewitness accounts of large monsters at Monster Control. What? We're about roaming in a few different regions. We just wrapped up. Come oh. on. We're happy to tell you about them. Please get some rest and check, check in with me later. Hi. Please make sure you check your destination. Oh. 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 Oh, I don't want to sit through this.
But that right now pertains to the remaining large monsters, unusual monsters. Oh. Let me know what you'd like to hear. Big monsters. Oh. Stone Talus. Oh. 80 sto Oh, so this is telling you how many are left. They're not actually quests. Oh. 62 Hinox remain. Oh. 3 Molduga remain. So there's only 4, like in the previ oh. previous game. Oh. Deed of Sky Giant. Oh. 21 of the Flux Constructs remain. Oh. 13 Gleox remain. Thirty-nine Froxes remain. Okay, so it just tells you how many you haven't oh. beaten yet. to you? Ma. Oh, two. Okay. <laughs> nine. Oh, well, there's only nine left. Cool. Alright, let's take one more trip back to Laurelin and see if the shop's open now. Yeah, I'm going really late tonight. There's a goddess statue down there. I didn't notice that. Oh, of course, it's Simad. I'm not from Gerudo Town after all. If you're into the Lover's Pond, it's a lake. Yeah, Tough Mountain. I feel a place when I was young. It said you could find true love there. Search and search, but I find it. Can't. Who thought I'd come chase it all these years? Never dig it to. F okay. Don't care. For fuck's sake, shut up. Everyone just shut the fuck up. I'm tr look, I it's it's late. I have to stop. There doesn't seem to be a, a shop in here uh, anywhere. In lucky treasure shop. General store. It'd be Garini's shop at the end of the middle pier. However, his boat, which is tool of acquiring has gone and floated off. It means a full sling travels over from a far shop is rare goods. Show up his boat comes back soon. trade. Oh, I thought that boat, I guess I'm just stuck. Oh, you're Link. Well, here you are, our hero. I returned to my village when I heard that the pirates disappeared. Who do you think I'd bump into you here? Well, unfortunately, I don't really have time to chat. The thing is, my boat's gone, and with it, I, how I get my trading done. I don't know where it's gotten to. All the boats in the village are gone, so I can't even find a replacement for it. I'm sure that because of the mayhem the monsters caused, they all got washed out to sea. Things that float up from the village often went up in Tenoko, an island off on the eastern coast. Maybe they're there. Of course, Tonoko is way out to sea, and I don't have a boat to get a boat. Seems like I'm stuck then. I'll never be able to reopen my shop. I sell some things you can only find here. My customers are eager to see my get me sh my shop up and running again. I just need to get my hands on a boat, that's all. Way to trade, washed away. Alright. 
we'll do that. We'll do that next stream, and we'll truly finish up Lurland Village here. I'm gonna stop for now. Uh, thank you so much for coming and staying. Uh, I know that before I actually started streaming this segment, uh, I was online here. Some stuff was not going that well. Um, there's nothing more I can really say about it. I kind of lost my cool. If you were there for that, I'm sorry. Uh, but hey, thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. We're gonna try to just do a normal stream tomorrow. No bullshit. No technical difficulties. We'll be good. Until then, though, uh, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wild Um, and yeah, that's all I have to really say. Thank you so much again for supporting me. You all have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.